声啊！嘿，你说说。Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey, and today I have a birth doll for you. Yay! I haven't done one in a month or so, so I have some fun things to show you. And if you like birth dolls, you're gonna want to subscribe because I do them at least usually every month. I try anyway, and I can link my other ones in the I and below so that you can check those out if you haven't already. And without further ado. Let's get into the treasures. Okay, first up, I thrifted these artificial flowers. There's some really pretty blue poinsettia and uh, some like silver holly berries and stuff, and then also these pretty pink ones with gold, and then there's also a little bit of red holly in here too. And uh, these were only $1.50 each. And uh, they seem like pretty good quality, and I feel like I'm gonna be able to make some really pretty, like Christmas corsages and things for them for this coming Christmas. <laughs> That's the thing with thrifting. Like, whenever you see something, you just have to get it, even if it's not really like the season, or you know, you're not gonna use it right that second. But you can't pass up these flowers, like both of these for $3 total. Like, that's a super good deal, and I'm totally gonna make something out of them. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, next up I thrifted some Pyrex. First of all is this lid. It was only 75 cents and it is kind of like a divided dish lid, I think. And I have uh, several divided dishes that don't have a lid, so I have not matched it up to them yet, but I think that it will fit. So yeah, 75 cents. Next up for Pyrex are these little dishes and they are quite dishwasher damaged unfortunately, but I think that I can clean them up at least a little bit. There are some tricks of the trade. Uh, if you collect Pyrex, you will know. So I'm gonna scrub them, um, probably with do some Barkeeper's Friend and maybe Magic Eraser and that'll get the black marks off and then maybe treat them with some coconut oil or olive oil and see if that will help bring a little bit of their shine back. But I do have other pieces of this same collection and so I didn't wanna leave them behind and it, both of these together were $5. So yeah, I just, I don't know. Do you do that with Pyrex? You just feel bad for it, like sitting there in the wild and you just have to take it home even if it is a little bit damaged. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. <laughs> Next up along the theme of kitchenware, uh, this cup of mold, and it is the lobster, folks. This is a fun one. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited to put it up with my collection in my kitchen, and this guy was $2. Okay, next up I thrifted this awesome Art Deco headboard lamp. I love it. It's this awesome, awesome jade green color, and it does work. I plugged it in and turned it on, and it looks magical. It is awesome diffused light. Um, it does have a crack, but I think that we can glue it and then once you like hold it together, you can't even tell that it's there. So yeah, there's that inside. And the label says Eagle, uh, Underwriters Laboratory Ink Listed Portable Lamp. I'll show you that. And this guy, it was marked $3, but since I pointed out the crack, I got it for $2. I'm not above it, folks. I will ask at the thrift store if something is damaged in any way. I ask, and they almost always take at least a dollar off for you. So, pro tip if you find something you like at the thrift store, like even a clothing item, it has a little stain or it has a rip or something, point it out to the cashier. And I mean, in my experience, all the time they give you money off. So, next up, I thrifted this a beautiful pink chenille fabric. This was $3. It is one yard of chenille fabric and I think I'm going to use it to make a robe. I really want like a 50s style chenille robe and I know a yard won't make a full robe but I'm thinking I'll use it like for the lapel and then the trim around the wrist and then around the hem and I think that will be so cute. So yeah that's the plan for this. So stay tuned, maybe I'll do a little video on that too, making of the, of the bathrobe. 
Let me know if you want to see something like that. Next up is some amazing chalkware. It is like kind of like jazz looking to me. I love it. It is labeled Leftins of Japan. So awesome, awesome. These two were saran wrapped together and it was $1.50. And my husband actually spied these and he's like, what do you think? Do you like them? I'm like, yes, those are cool, get them. So yeah, I'm not sure where they're going to live yet, but we will find a home for them because they're super cute. Next up was also a find from my husband and he found these Lucite candles and I was so excited. We have a little um, candelabra thing that sits on our credenza and these look so cute in it. Um, yeah, it says decorative only, do not ignite, Sunbell Corporation. So yeah, they're super pretty, lucite with the gold leafing inside of them and I love them. I just want to find more now to complete the whole candelabra full of lucite candles. But for now, I was super excited to find these and he got these for $3. Last up for housewares <laughs> is another Lazy Susan divided dish. I don't know why these just find me, you guys, but they do, and I can't pass them up. This one I thought was super pretty with the, the like the little wheat on it, and uh, Mr. Johnny Cash, what do you think? Couldn't pass it up. It's labeled USA so I think it's probably 60s I don't know it has a little like notch in that middle bowl so I think it came with a spoon at one point but we do not have the spoon alas but anyway I still loved it I thought it was super pretty came with the lazy Susan and it was seven dollars I did find a few men's items this month first up is this Kind of like a brown linen shirt. The brand is Mur Murano. I think that's a Coles brand. I'm not positive, but it still has the tags on and everything. It's brand new, basically. And linen shirt for five bucks. Yes, and it's super like vintage style looking. And uh, so yeah, we had to pick that one up. And lastly for men's, this super cool cabana shirt. This also looks kind of linen to me but it looks like one of those kind you can buy in Mexico. I love the stitching detail, and also it has cool buttons. Like, they're kind of like stripey. So anyway, yeah, we wanted to pick that one up as well, and this was also $5. Okay, next up, I actually got lucky and found some shoes again this time. So first up are these really cute like ballet flats with the laces that lace kind of around your ankle and uh, they're brand new never been worn and uh, original price tag says $34.99 however I paid three bucks so not bad brand new shoes and I've been wanting this style um, I remember I don't know if they still have them but uh, a couple years back um, pinup girl clothing had this pretty much exact same style of shoe. So I was excited to find these. Next up, another pair of shoes, these super cute brown boots. I've already worn these several times. Perfect for winter and super comfortable and they are the brand Brickells, which I know is pretty popular. And these were also $3. And I found a third pair of shoes, these awesome brown leather sandals. They look super 1940s to me. I love it. And they are the brand Hush Puppies. I'm not really sure how old these are, but they actually do look kind of vintage. So I don't know, maybe 70s, but they're super cute. And these are actually $5, but I loved them. So I had to have them sit down. Okay. Thank you. You are the bestest boy. You're a good helper. Okay. Moving on to the clothing. So, I found this just the other day. And it is this amazing dress and bolero from Betty Page Clothing. Check it out. 
Betty Page by Tatiana. So I'm not sure, this might be one of their oldies, like one of the original styles from them. I'm not positive, but it's this really pretty gray dress and it has red, like, I don't know what it is, little crowns or something on it, but it's super pretty. I love the red with the gray, it has pockets and it has this super cute little bolero that ties kind of like a cropped bolero and this set was six dollars it looks perfect condition uh, the only thing is, is it's a size small which in in Tatiana I wear medium so we'll see if it fits I really hope so I really like it but if not I know some gals I can pass it on to so either way had to grab it Next up for clothes is this a really pretty kind of like cable knit sweater. This one, it's like cream with gold speckles in it, gold thread. And its label says Grifflin Paris, French design, 100% acrylic. So this one I actually wore on Christmas day. So I will show you the outfit I wore on Christmas with this. I needed to find a sweater with gold in it to match my Christmas skirt and this was perfect. <laughs> for me. You will see a theme here. It's fine. That's what we do in the winter, right? So I got this really pretty plum colored sweater. It has kind of a like a little half turtleneck situation and I thought it was super pretty. I already have worn this one as well and uh, this one was $3. The brand says Villager, a Liz Claiborne company. So it's not vintage, but definitely can pull off the look with it. Next up is the super pretty little pink sweater. This one kind of, it reminds me of 50s kind of a look. It is from The Gap. <laughs> this one was $5, but I thought that it would be really cute for Valentine's Day to make some Valentine's outfits. So yeah, I'm going to probably pair it with like a red skirt and I love pink and red together. It's so underrated. Please wear pink and red together for me. So yeah, I'm excited to wear this one for Valentine's <laughs> cardigan sweater but it's like thicker so I, I really liked it the brand is Dockers and it is a size large but it doesn't fit like a large it totally fits me fine so I was happy about that and it has these really huge like snaps on it <laughs> which is kind of cool um, but I thought that this would look nice for winter just to be able to layer for some of my shorter sleeve things and uh, just warm it up a little bit. Oh, 
last up for this thrift haul is this awesome knit sweater. I love it. It is vintage, I believe, probably 1970s, maybe 60s. Um, anyway, here's the label and I love it. It reminded me of like 30s, 40s ski wear, which I'm all about that. So yeah, it has these really cool wooden buttons and it has kind of like a little triangle design there. I don't know. And then a little bit of a bishop sleeve as well, like a little poofy sleeve. So I am all about that. This one is super cozy and warm. I've worn it once so far and I know I will get a lot of more wear out of it. I'm hoping I can find like complete the whole like 30s, 40s ski outfit of my dreams. Maybe find some trousers to go with this and maybe like a turtleneck. Oh, it'll be so cute. So yeah, this, this one was $5 as well. I think, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I think all of those sweaters were $5 each, so. Yeah, this one almost looks like hand knit. I love it so much. I was so excited to find it. I sure hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below what treasures have you found this month. I would love to hear. And if you are not subscribed already, please do so. You are going to want to stick around for more of our vintage fun. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!